Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome back to This About Action Figures, Picking You Toy Hunts, episode number 262. It's a little bit windy and cloudy here in Pennsylvania. Hope they can hear me okay. But I figured what a better place to check out than Ollie's Bargain Outlet, which has been the summer of Ollie's 2023. So we're going to go inside, see what they have. Hit up a bunch of targets today, try to find some new stuff, some clearance stuff. You know how we do it here on the channel. But before we get to any of that, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It does not cost you anything. And it helps us grow the channel tremendously in the march to 5,000 subscribers. Then go ahead and hit that bell, that bell for notifications. That way YouTube actually notifies you and will tell you every time we post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy entry reviews and live streams. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over Instagram and Twitter at just about underscore 12. Let's see what they have inside. All right, king of the aisle status here and extremely loud music. So I'll have to make sure to talk over that. Uh, but this is starting to slowly uh, get really messy in here. <laughs> they kind of had it nice and tidied up originally. Um, looks like a lot of the stuff that we've seen the last few times we've been here. Again, you just never know what you're going to see in this store. Uh, so I try to stop in, especially nowadays, at least once every week or so, uh, in the local locations. But uh, just kind of showing you what's here in case it's your first time being in here. But again, a lot of this stuff, it's your first, if it's your first time watching my channel, I've been in here like weekly for the last couple of months. So all this stuff has been here. That's why I'm not going through and like narrating everything um, that's here because it's kind of a lot of repeat for people who do watch on a regular basis. Uh, but at least if you're new, you're getting a good idea of seeing what they do have in here. For, I guess, for example, $3.99 on the little retro card guys there. Um, the big thing we've been looking for here over the last couple of months has been the uh, Bucky O'Hare figures. Um, still trying to find the damn toads, unfortunately, have not been able to. But a lot of old Star Wars here. And again, people who watch on a regular basis or like other YouTube toy hunters, you know, understand by now what you're gonna find here in these stores. Um, but again, if you don't go, you don't know. And I want to know, so I'm here. Um, down this way, some Fortnite stuff. A uh, America Chavez. Uh, but looking like nothing new that I'm looking to pick up. They do sometimes shove things at end caps here, so I'll walk around and look. Uh, but in the event that uh, I'm not sure anything else, I'll see you next time. And this is why you just walk around all the ollies and check everywhere. So again, this is all stuff I've seen in multiple ollies. But it's just shoved over in this section so again if you're looking to pick up the controller wave the aoa wave some doctor strange stuff uh, it is here reasonable prices for 9.99 uh i always consider this iron man but i just don't need another freaking iron man i'm not you know i'm not doing the whole hall of armor thing so it's not gonna get i'm not picking up every iron man but there's dedicated cases of iron man there blue marvel in the back more iron man there down here let's see what else uh we have a viper i've been seeing quake here at these locations i picked up a couple of those even though I said I was done army building. Yep, there she is, Quake, Speedball, Blue Marvel. So again, $9.99, not too bad uh, to check your ollies and see what you find if you have one locally. And again, I apologize if you don't have one locally. I get it. People message me a lot and, and say they wish they had one. And I, I wish everybody did too, because it's a great place to pick up discount figures. But we're gonna walk around a little bit more and see what else we can find. But again, cool to see this All stuff. Right, so back here at Cedar Crest Target, and they came with the goods finally. So we're getting to see most of the anniversary boxes are here. So there's Victor Von Doom right there with Captain Marvel. Good to see that first time in hand. We got the big boy Hulk here with Bruce Banner, which I have the Hulk. So I will be passing on the two pack. Um, eventually I would like to have a banner, but I already have the Hulk. I love that Hulk. I have most of those Hulks actually. And we also have the Skrull Queen along with Super Skrull. I got that at CMD store. Real great two pack. I think they killed it with that. Did an awesome job. But then right above that, we also have more of the Ant-Man wave. So we have the future Ant-Man sitting here. Here's the new Ultron on the peg. It's good to see. Actually a bunch of the Ultron. So if you want an army build them, they're here. Um, I have the most recent Ultron from the Ursa Major wave. I don't know why we're getting another one, but we are. Uh, again, Marvel's Egghead, kind of cool. I don't really know much about him to be honest. Just another kind of crazy scientist to have on your shelf, but uh, happy to see that sitting here. Up here we do have Ant-Man. So we have the majority of this wave laying around. Over here we have the anniversary Iron Man, also good to see. Uh, up top, more of the future Ant-Man on the peg. That's all future Ant-Mans. Then here we have the Rose. I don't think I've seen him before. I know we've seen most of the wave, but I don't think he's, I think he's the one I didn't see. There's Miles, there's Tarantula back behind. Up top, more Jessica Drew, more Miles, more Ben Riley Spider-Man. So this is essentially the entire reset of the section, right? For the, as far as legends go, or uh, legends are concerned. So. Good to see all that here. I'll be waiting and seeing on some of this stuff. Uh, as far as other new stuff down here, they have some of the new uh, 
little X-Men animated series, 97 things. So there's Rogue, up close and personal. Uh, up above, Wolverine, little guys. I think Ryan Ting and the team actually had these on display at SDCC, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Wolverine Claws, oh, there's the Blackbird, nice. With Storm, that's cool looking. Very cool to see the Blackbird here, uh, or X-Men Team Jet, as they call it. Um, nice animated look at the figures right there. So that's fun to see. Uh, as far as some other stuff, we are we are stacked here. This is basically the entire toy we said, right? Here is Shipwreck, Rock and Roll. I don't see Arctic. Oh, no, there we go. Arctic Bat. So, I don't know. It's not Arctic Bat. That's Torpedo. Nice. I haven't seen Torpedo yet. Let's take a close look at Torpedo here. So, oh, I did pick this up recently. There's a bunch of those here. So, I paid full price for that. But yeah, Torpedo in hand. At least the box in hand, right? Figure inside. Um, again, I've been kind of pumping the brakes with Joe's, just picking up stuff that I really have nostalgia for. But again, awesome to see that sitting here. Down here, Blue Beetle still here. Uh, Mr. Freeze is up top. And hey, here we go. Boom, right there. Also, I did pick this one up because I just think it's awesome. The head sculpt is amazing on this. So that's good to see. Um, we have Gold Label Batman sitting here. Uh, Joker in the back, Superman, the old Dark Knight Rises one. Uh, down here, double Necron, seeing two Necrons. Uh, we have a uh, Batman Batwing back again. And then Transformer stuff is sitting here, as you can see as well. Uh, if that is something you are into. Slow spin move back behind. The turtle section is stacked up. All sorts of stuff from the new movie. Uh, Mo2, 1259 sale going on there. Uh, this is a cool set right here. The ooze cruising figures. I don't turtle, but it's good to see. The indies are still here. As it would appear, it's just the ones that have been sitting here for the longest time by now. Uh, Book of Boba Fett, Luke, and Grogu. Some more three and three quarter Star Wars. Here's a new Paz Vizsla. Good to see on the pegs. Tons of them there. Uh, Tusken Warrior. Wrestling, very, not very wanting here. There's that uh, Brother Love first in the line. Uh, by the way, some of these are missing the first in the line part on the box. Shut six packs and snacks for it. Let me know about that. So if you have Brother Love and it doesn't have this here, that's technically like a box flaw, I guess. But other than that, I think we're about done. Oh, there's some Halloween stuff. Uh, about done at this location. Uh, what kind of poke? We're going to check the end caps. And if there's anything else interesting, I'll show you. But other than that, I think we are about done here. And wow, holy smokes. This store did not disappoint. This is probably the most stacked I've seen a Target in quite a while with this stuff all throughout it. So between Joe's and Marvel, everything else being new. So, all right, I'll walk around, see what I can find. If not, see at the next location. And the end, collector's end cap is still here. So there's all those wasps that are still sitting here. Uh, we have Blue Beetle, Gold Label. We have more of the Joe's uh, Python Crimson Guard up here. Uh, all the kind of statuesque. DC McFarland stuff. And of course we have uh, Vanth and Bane. So lots of stuff in this target. It is fully stacked. Having man. maintained head on a swivel status. I know I saw this in a previous video, but they also have uh, quite a few of the Hawkeye with sky cycles, which I'm still deciding on, but I think it's awesome. I think it's probably very well made. So there's three of those there. So this is the most stacked I've seen at target in a long time, like I said. So uh, very cool to see all this, to take it all in. Um, and again, it's good to kind of not be picking up everything because I'd be pretty much broke if that were the, uh, the case right now. But all right, we're definitely getting out of here. Next location. Okay, still here at Cedar. Just to let you know, they still have $5.99 uh, and $9.99. That, that also might be $5.99 uh, for the Batman Classics. So King Tut still super cheap. There's some socks on sale on clearance <laughs> on socks. Uh, these are already going on clearance at Walmart. Um, other than that, I think everything else here looks to be what it typically is he's here again uh but yeah nothing else really that noteworthy to point out to you alf's back all right so back of the crocs road target and they do have torpedo here he is out here as well as the previous store awesome to see we have the flash gold label you can see it's definitely not like the last one in regards to all the stuff being out yet they do have a couple of the chasms we have daredevil electra but again not stacked like the previous target was but still enough here that it's interesting to look around and see what's what's actually hanging um but as i said i'm not probably passing on torpedo at least for now there's the signal duke thomas dc multiverse batman i guess they kind of go together they're both yellow i suppose uh but not much else here on this side let's check wrestling or over on the other side okay so we have a new structure here we have like a shelf up here now um so you can see the new tags are out however not really any new figs out. Plenty of Nyla Rose laying around, Lance Archer. They're always here for some reason, uh, down this way. 
because we have Luke and Grogu is also here. I think we saw them here already. Uh, there is the at, -AT Micro Galaxy. Cool to see that as well. It's not my cup of tea. Down this way, some more Indiana Jones still pegging around here. Full price, I suppose. But yeah, not that much else here. It's pretty pretty bare. It's definitely not like that last or they had it on lock. They just hit the reset button at Cedar Crest. Here they really kind of go step by step, I, I, I showed guess. this crazy clearance section in the last video. There were some uh, figures here, some wrestling and things like that, but it looks like they might be all picked through here already. We still have some Hammond collection, Jurassic Jesser hanging out here, of course. Uh, and this way, lots of games, some plushies, some trucks and Jeeps and things. Doesn't look like anything crazy figure-wise. Here's the three-pack. What do they have for here? $14.99 for the three-pack of the Mo2. Uh, but yeah, it looks like everything else that was here that was mostly figure-related is either moved into a new home or a new shelf somewhere thrown in the store. So look around quick and we'll see. Oh, there's wrestling there. Five bucks, five seventy-eight for two pack. For the basics, not too shabby. There's little people, but yeah, okay. I'll walk around a little bit more, check some end caps, see what else we can find. Here's some more mo two. Yeah, checking out the NECA section as usual. There's stuff here. <laughs> they always block this in, um, but on the back you can see plenty of NECA going on. American Wolf in London, ET, Gargoyles. They live up top. Frankenstein set, top ramen. Tootie Tears, Xenomorph. Um, doesn't look like anything new here in the NECA section. Evil Dead is still here. Dracula, there's the Batman shrapnel thing. There's plenty of NECA down below there, stacked with it. Pops, 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 pops. Down here, again, looking through what they got. A lot of reaction series, nothing necessarily new. DC Multiverse, Batman, Retro. Looks at the clearances picked through there. Oh, Turtles, April O'Neil has been sitting there for a while, so it's Krang. Let me know who collects these. Anybody collect these best action loyal subjects, TMNT? I'd be curious to know about it. Other than that, nothing really new here. Here's the area of things I don't really collect. But I'd like to show you so you know what's here. All the Gundam, Dragon Ball, Gohan, Goku stuff. But it's all here. We even got Godzilla. But other than that, I think we're going to get out of here and hit another location. See what we can find. Nothing's going to top that last target uh, until something does. Back here at the home base, last video you saw how they were stacked up with the totally awesome Hulk. I was just curious between that and Ant-Man how much was still sitting here and some things are moved around but it looks like not much had moved. <laughs> looks like a lot of it's still here. Um, we'll walk down to the other peg and check that's the older stuff. There's the Wolverine stuff going on. There is there are the Wolverine claws. Uh, DC. I don't think any of these have moved. And that's that's not 1250 I don't think. These are the new ones. Um, I'll scan it to see for curiosity. More multiverse stuff down this way. Um, yeah, so not much else really going on here per se. Let's check this little like end cap area with the other legends to see what's still here. Uh, looks like again, very much still untouched. So a lot of these still sitting here. I'll fix that, all right? Be a responsible hunter. Um, I don't see the Iron Man here. I noticed that after the fact from the last video that I never did not see Iron Man here. So it's weird that he's the, the one figure that's not here from this wave. Um, Actually, looking at it, he's not in the wave. That's why. <laughs> why was I thinking that Iron Man was in this wave? So when I saw that Iron Man... Is Iron Man... Future Iron Man in this one? <laughs> not Future Iron Man, sorry. Uh, Iron Man... Um, that is the uh, Hero's Return. He's not. So is he an exclusive or what? Now I'm confused why I saw that. I thought I missed him on here, but Rogers, Karnak, Marvel Boy. Uh, Captain Marvel, Photon. Yeah, so I guess that Iron Man... Let me know in the comments. It's something I should probably know. But he's he's not here in either of these. So either he's an exclusive or it's a different wave. I was a little bit confused on that one. So I'll take it on the chin for being wrong there. Uh, all the G.I. Joe kind of peg warm in here, which is kind of surprising. Um, I guess a lot of people got them online and wanted them. But all right, that's about it for this location. Let's go check some. Well, actually, else. last time these were here too, and I forgot to show them. They have the Ruthless Aggression Edge and JBL here. So uh, again, not my thing, but uh, good to see them here. Uh, I forgot to show you last time, so I'm showing you now. There they are. Back here at Airport Road Target, and it looks like we are having dedicated cases showing up here for uh, the Quantumania movie. So we do have three Ultrons. Looks like a whole peg full of roses are here. And we have some Electras up back here. Some more Electra. And on top we have Miles. So nothing we haven't seen before. Just looking down this way to see what else we have. Looks like they're kind of slowly rolling things out here. DC Multiverse. There you go. And they have these big boys still sitting here, but not too much here. Oh, wait, down below. There we go. Head on a swivel, right, folks? Okay, so down below, 
we saw these earlier in the video there are three of the hulk packs and those are heavy those are very heavy it's a good figure by the way but i think we're going to call it a hunt there everybody so if you're new please consider hitting that subscribe button it's free for you it does not cost you anything it helps go to the channel tremendously to march to 5,000 subscribers go ahead hit that bell for notifications that way youtube actually notifies you and tells you when we post new content here on the channel like our weekly toy hunts reviews and live streams leave a comment down below hit that like button and for daily toy content and daily toy updates try checking us out over at instagram and twitter at is about underscore 12. Hey everybody we're going to toy this week remember the three p's of the toy hunt patience persistence most of all politeness take care stay healthy i'll be seeing all of you at the pegs